Okay, so far so good. Um, we have one more thing to do, which is to deploy our application to Azure and actually have it hosted. So that's kind of the last step here. So let's go ahead and set that up. So I'm gonna close out of the browser and stop the server. And I'm gonna go ahead and close these windows. And now what we're gonna do is, well, the first thing that we should do is probably make a commit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Git ignorer. And at the bottom of the git ignore here, I'm going to ignore double star dot production and then star star. And so what this should do is it should stop tracking anything that has dot production, you know, in the middle of it um, through any of our directories. And so this will then hopefully ignore our production app settings file, which contains some sensitive information. So you can see now that even though we added this file, it's not going to be tracked by Git, which is what we want. All right, so now let's go ahead and launch this application that we've been working on for what feels like kind of a long time, but we've come a long way in actually what's been actually a fairly short amount of time and from scratch essentially developed a first revision forum application. So there are certainly a lot of areas here that could use more attention and that we could um, improve our features. We could do things like handle syntax highlighting in our input form might be kind of a cool feature to build out. We could refactor our service layer a little bit and perhaps simplify our controllers, just kind of thinking about things like um, the search feature, which is kind of, um, we have some duplicate code here in both the forum controller and the home controller, kind of simplify that a bit. Maybe even simplify our data structure just a little bit with things like post and post replies, maybe creating some abstract classes there and kind of simplifying things, making everything a little bit more loosely coupled and modular. But that said, if you have made it this far, then I think you can feel pretty good about the fact that you have created a more or less, you know, feature complete initial version of a forum application in .NET Core 2.0. So we've been working locally on this application, but now what I'd like to do is to go ahead and launch this to be hosted on Azure. And within Visual Studio, this is actually quite simple. So what we can do is let's go ahead and build and just make sure everything's building. And what I'm gonna do is right click on the web project, and then we're going to simply select publish. And there are a number of different ways we could publish our app. We could publish it to a folder. Um, we could publish it to a virtual machine. We could publish it over FTP, but we also have the option now to actually publish it directly to a Microsoft Azure app service. And so go ahead and select create new, and then we'll click publish here. This is going to take us through a form wizard to actually configure the application for deployment. So go ahead and give it an app name. And then under services, you can see that if you wanted to actually set up the database and, and storage uh, services here, you could do that, but we've already actually taken care of that. I'm just going to call this Lambda Forums Dev, and then we'll select create. Okay, and now that that's complete, we'll get taken to this publish dialog. And you can see that it's going to start publishing. Uh, and so we get a failure. And what's going to happen here is that something that actually haunted us from the very uh, beginning of the series is that we moved our application user namespace. And so what's happening now is in this manage nav view, which we're not even using, it's having trouble finding the application user entity object. So we can go ahead and just declare it here with a full name. OK, 
okay and in fact since we're not using this view I would recommend just even um, just getting rid of it so alright we'll go ahead and just fix it up and patch it up for now and now if we right click on the web project and select publish again we can go ahead and just try to run the publish again and once that's complete your browser should open up with your website actually hosted on azurewebsites.net so congratulations and I would really be interested to see what you build from this series as a starting point. Okay, so if you've made it this far, then congratulations because you have just built a .NET Core 2.0 application. We definitely have lots of improvements that we could make, but I think you can definitely be proud of the fact that we've come this far, um, that you have essentially developed a nearly feature complete application starting from very little so we at the start of this project we just had a very simple MVC template to work with and then we basically uh, rewrote most of it from scratch save for the the membership that's provided by identity and even in that case we tweaked it a little bit to fit our own needs with the uh, with the username and and some of the custom properties that are on our application user entity model but yeah, we've come from there to learning how to store our files in the cloud, our static files for application in the cloud, as well as our SQL database, and now actually deploying it. So this is definitely something that I think you can be proud of, especially if this was your first time building something in .NET Core 2.0. Be sure to let me know if you got something out of this series or if you have any additional questions. So good luck, all the best, and thanks for watching.